Well, hello, YouTube. Been doing a lot of thinking lately and pondering just about life and where I'm at. I've come to a very, very devastating conclusion. I'm old. I don't know when it happened. I don't know how it happened, but somehow I became old. And the reason I'm saying this is because I can no longer shoot for any extended period of time any of my hunting weight recurves. The lighter weight ones like this one, this is my 69 Grizzly and that's 40 pounds. Uh, I can still shoot really well. However, that's a little light in my opinion. For hunting. I'm just shooting into the bag right now. I'm not shooting at the deer or anything like that. Yes, in Wisconsin, the minimum legal poundage that you can hunt deer with is 30 pounds. So technically, I could hunt with this. And yes, I am comfortable enough that I would be able to get a deer with this bow if I wanted to. The only problem is, is that at 40 pounds, I'm probably not gonna be getting any pass-throughs. I would have to have a, a smaller two blade, cut on contact, fixed blade broadhead, which is no problem. I mean, I've killed ton of deer with bare razor heads back in the day with recurve bows, but those were all 50 pounds. Um, so I know it can be done. It's just, I don't feel like I can do it right now. And quite honestly, why would I want to even take the chance of wounding a deer or even worse, killing one and not being able to find it because there's no blood trail. Oh, just a little bit high on that one. Um, when I have the Oneida, which quite honestly, I am just killing it with these days. See, just a few inches high. I was shooting at that lower right one there that time. Uh, or the Adapt, which... Phew, the Adapt, I can hit a... A Dagon golf ball all the way out to probably 50 yards right now. So... I'm just... I, I'm giving up on the idea of going back... to hunting, and that one was low, to hunting with the recurves. Uh, it wasn't really that low though. That's not bad, okay. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm old, I'm feeble. I still love shooting my recurves, but I really enjoy shooting the lighter poundage ones these days. And then, you know, it's funny, the, uh, Oneida, which I got set at 60 pounds now, is uh, I can shoot that thing all day, not have any issues. Put me on a 45 pound recurve and bam, after like three or four shots, it is hell for me. I've never shot this bow at 33 yards, so I'm going to try for the deer. This is a heavy arrow for a 40 pound bow, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hit the deer. I don't even know how high I have to hold with this arrow, but let's give her a try. I think I hit him right in the head. Got a little ambitious with that one. I know I jerked it to the left. Let's see. Right, <laughs> right square in the neck. <laughs> Would have been high. Maybe I'll try one more <laughs> way out there. A bomb. 
So that's where I'm at. I've decided that I'm not going to hunt with the recurves. I've been thinking about it. I've been shooting all my other ones. The Tiger Cat, the Super Kodiak, uh, the Kodiak Hunter. I've been shooting all those bows and I just can't get consistent enough with them anymore. My skills have just declined way too much. <sighs> Pulled out into the left again, but up and down was better. Would have been a straight up shoulder shot. So that's where I'm at. Just a little update and you know I'm just trying to enjoy my hunting seasons right now and I don't want to worry about you know that I didn't do enough you know if I wound a deer at least I know that if I'm hunting with the Oneida or the Adapt that I was doing everything in my power to come out with the best chances of success I guess is what I'm saying I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to the deer if I was to hunt with a 40 pound recurve and I know people kill hogs and deer with 40 pound bulls every year it's just not going to be me and here as you can see I was to the left again it would have been straight up shoulder uh, but look at it up and down was perfect that time and that's 33 yards with a pretty weak bow and a very heavy arrow so hope you're all doing well i'm old probably just a few days away from being an old folks home but we'll see i'm trying to hang in there for another hunting season at least so talk to you all later next video will probably be with either the oneida or the adapt and we got to start shooting some broadheads and see how the broadheads are flying so hope you're all doing well i'll catch you on the next one thanks bye